And this comes to us from Logan Kilpatrick, who is the lead product for Google AI Studio and the Gemini API. And he says, introducing Genie 3, the most advanced world simulator ever created, enabled by numerous research breakthroughs, featuring high fidelity visuals, 20 to 24 frames per second, prompting on the go, world memory, and more, which, uh, yikes. Now, I have not seen this yet, but I've been looking forward. I was waiting for this to, to show you. Let's see what you got. What you're seeing are not games or videos. They're worlds. Each one of these is an interactive environment generated by Genie 3, a new frontier for world models. Guys, I'm going to tell you, there's things that happen every few decades that are market disruptors that no one saw coming. And now everyone's talking about AI, 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 but nothing's actually really changed dynamically yet. This could be the first massive shift in dynamics when it comes to the gaming industry that completely turns it on its head. If these games start taking off, this could be the next generation of gaming that's going to leave everyone else behind. With Genie 3, you can use natural language to generate a variety of worlds and explore them interactively, all with a single text prompt. I mean, crazy. Let's see what it's like to spend some time in a world. And remember too, for how incredible this looks, this is like the first attempt at it. <laughs> Just think like three years from now or 10 years or 30 years from now what this is going to look like. Because holy crap. Genie 3 has real-time interactivity, meaning that the environment reacts to your movements and actions. You're not walking through a pre-built simulation. Everything you see here is being generated live as you explore it. And Genie 3 has world memory. That's why environments like this one stay consistent. That's crazy. World memory even carries over Wait, into your actions. Hold on. Is this real or is this fantasy? I don't even know. For example, when I'm painting on this wall, my actions persist. I can look away and generate other parts of the world. Wait. But when I look back, the actions I took are still there. Wait, this is, this is, that was, that was genie. That I thought that was real life. <laughs> genie three enables prompt bull events. So you can add new events into your world on the fly. Something like another person <laughs> or transportation or even something totally unexpected. You can use Genie to explore real world physics and movement and all kinds of unique environments. You can generate worlds with distinct wow. geographies, wow. historical settings, fictional environments, and even other characters. We're excited to see how Genie 3 can be used for next generation gaming and entertainment. This, I'm telling you, this is going to flip gaming on its head. It's going to piss off a lot of developers that studied forever about development. And then it's coming in and it's like, oh, it's actually completely different now. And that's just the beginning. Worlds can help with embodied research, training robotic agents before working in the real world, or simulating dangerous scenarios for disaster preparedness and emergency training. Yep. World models can open new pathways for learning, agriculture, manufacturing, and more. We're excited to see how Genie 3's world simulation can benefit research around the world. They didn't even talk about like medical breakthroughs with it too. Like how they could use it for that as well with the human body. That's crazy. That's crazy. And what got me going down this rabbit hole was this thread here. I have not seen this, but I saw it being shared on X. And I was like, oh, I'll show this on the stream and talk about it here. I was like, oh, wait, this is like a new thing. I thought this was based off the last one. This is the Google DeepMind Genie 3 that just came out like today. Like this is brand new. What the fuck? This is mind blowing. Google DeepMind just dropped Genie 3. You can generate interactive 3D world with text, navigate with keys, and interact in real time. AI is crazy. 10 examples. Number one, navigate to a car and open the door.
This looks like real life. Guys, Grand Theft Auto 6 better hurry up and come out before this com comes to a uh, mainstream because <laughs> if there's a better game that comes out with this, people are going to forget about Grand Theft Auto 6 pretty quickly. Look at this walking through the bush. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, two, Genie can generate a variety of 3D worlds using text and explore the worlds interactively. Walk around using keys and interact with objects in it. This is ChatGPT moment for AI video. So here we go. With Genie 3, you can use this natural is, language to generate. This is breaking down different parts of the trailer, but still. I feel like that's the other problem I had with the trailer. It went by so quick. We didn't have a chance to even like look at it. So this is good to go again on it just to take it a little bit slower. Look at that. Like that's really good graphics. That's crazy. Very realistic. And the helicopter one, like so much potential and you can control it. You can control it after you prompt it. <laughs> that's, that's surreal. Uh, and then this is the world memory with the paint that we just saw, which I, again, I thought that this was real life when I was watching this the first time. That looks like real paint, like what it looks like when you roll it on the wall. And it remembers exactly where it was, what you did. Every pixel of it. How? How? That's like mind blowing. That's mind blowing. Uh, this one promptable events add different events in the same scene in real time. This is crazy. So add a man in the chicken suit appears. It people's promptable events, so you can add new yeah. events into your world on the fly. Something like another person. A man in a chicken suit appears from the left of the shot and runs down the towpath hogging the wall or transportation a man on a jet ski emerges into the shot from the right traveling extremely fast and leaving a huge wake wow or even something totally other. a brutish crimson dragon dives headfirst from above impacting the canal like a cannonball the deep explosive splash sends a column of water straight up which then rains back down, drenching the entire area. Expected. And Genie. Uh, explore real world physics in real time. Flying in air, underwater, on the bike paths. Assassin's Creed, the actual Assassin's Creed we never got. I mean, I can't believe half this stuff looks like real life. We're actually getting to the point where the graphics are really almost one for one with real life. This is this is wild. How is it doing that? How is it doing that? Uh, not only control where the dragon goes, but also make it jump. I mean, pretty basic game, but still. And jump into the water, swims. And this is just based off of a few prompts, too. That's what's crazy. This is going to be like RPG Maker uh, to the extreme. Genie 3 text to interactive 3D world example. That looks so real. It looks like Google Maps. But like better quality you can see the shoes are there puddles when you walk in the water oh my god how how that's crazy uh genie 3 text to interactive 3d world example Wow. Guys, 
I would get lost in this world for for weeks, months. This is actually this is kind of scary. This is like Ready Player One type world building. You get all these feminist groups that are trying to say people are addicted to porn or they're addicted to Annie. It's like you you ain't seen nothing yet. Wait till wait till this come out. You'll you'll be able to say people are addicted to something because this is this is crazy. Uh, Genie three text to interactive three D world example here. I don't think there's any audio on these ones, but still, do the branches move? No, they don't. Okay. This is crazy. This is uh, the next mainline series, Legend of Zelda, Breath of Real Life. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, and then this last one here, Genie 3 text to interactive 3D world example. Wow. How does it render all of that? and scale it so perfectly and everything is perfectly stagnant. There's no glitches or hiccups or tearing anywhere. That's crazy. That is wild. Wow. Wow. Um, so suffice it to say that there will be games that come from this that I think will definitely disrupt the entire market if done right and fun, because this is an entirely new way of playing a game that has never existed before. And there's a lot of really exciting potential with it. Uh, Genie three text to interactive 3d world example, the jellyfish. Uh, Genie 3 text to interactive 3D world example here. Uh, resolution 720p. General navigation promptable world events, multiple minutes. Real time latency. Wow. They solved environmental consistency with Genie 3, and this was an emergent capability. You can see the trees remain the same even after being out of line of sight. Visual memory extends back one minute now. Google is on a steady path to real-world simulator. <laughs> Ironically, this is not loading. <laughs> uh, there we go. Wait. Nope. I don't know why it's not. Uh, but that is crazy. Crazy stuff. That is the new Google... Deep Mind Genie 3 that I wanted to spend a few minutes on talking about because this, you're going to be hearing a lot more about this in the coming years. And there will definitely be games coming out of this that will they'll definitely change what people even think gaming even is. It's crazy. This is uh, Akash Bangad, who is writing about AI tech and whatever else. And they said, no hype, no teasing, and no vague claims. Google DeepMind just keeps dropping gems without much of a flair. That's true, by the way. They're not even like advertising or anything. I, I only saw this because I stumbled upon it in X. I didn't see much fanfare about it. Genie 3 is a world model capable of simulating completely interactive virtual worlds. This model is not just going to be impacting the game development world, but much beyond that. For example... Imagine having the ability to train humanoid robots in this virtual world. Currently, we need to craft different simulations by hand to train these robots, but now we can just prompt it into existence. Absolutely stunning job by Google DeepMind. Look at this. That's crazy. I think the problem that they're going to have with this is you need to make it fun. Just prompting stuff does not make a fun game. But in time, I think there'll be talented people that appear that that make it fun. Because right now this looks like Death Stranding with a whole lot more walking, if that's even possible. <laughs> but I'll leave that there.